Hello friends, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you 10 day to day problems you did not know had an easy fix in Microsoft Word. So let us start with the first one. Let's say this is my table and I want to move this row quickly up or down. The shortcut here is like click anywhere on that row and then press Alt Shift and use up arrow to move this row up and down arrow to move this row downwards. So this is quite easy. Moving to the second trick, how to make one page landscape in Microsoft Word document. So let's say this is my Word document. I want to have this text on a landscape page and the rest on a portrait. So you select the text that you want to have on a landscape or if you want to have a blank landscape page, you can simply select a blank space, then go to the layout and in page setup group, click on this arrow at the bottom right corner, then select landscape and in the apply to select selected text click ok and you will have the selected text on the landscape page and rest all the pages will be a portrait problem three let's say you want to remove this lines sometimes removing line in microsoft word is easy you go select line and then press delete but there are times where removing lines might be difficult for example let's say this is an example and here i cannot select a line to delete it the problem here is that actually this line that we see here is not a line, it's a border. So to remove this, you select the paragraph that is above and below the line. Then in the home tab, go to paragraph group. Then in the paragraph group, click on this drop down menu and select no borders. So it will remove all the borders and you will get rid of that line. Now many times we have to draw a perfectly horizontal or vertical line in Microsoft Word. So to draw a perfectly horizontal vertical line, first go to insert, select lines from the shapes. And the trick here is to start drawing a line. And when you want to draw a perfectly horizontal vertical line, you can press the shift button. The moment you press shift button, the line gets perfectly horizontal. And if you want to make a vertical line, you draw a nearly vertical line and then again press shift. So it will ensure that your lines are perfectly horizontal or vertical. And you can do the same thing for 45 degree inclined line. So basically if you press shift, your line will be either horizontal, vertical or a 45 degree inclined line. So once it is done, you leave this shift button and you will have a horizontal or vertical line as per your need. So that was tip number four. Problem 5 is like, let's say I'm making this invoice here and I have a quantity and price per product. I want to use some kind of Excel features like product and sum. So you don't have to go to Excel for this. In Microsoft Word, you can use some Excel features like product or sum. Let me show you how to do this. So here in the price, I want to multiply this quantity into price per kg. I can do all this calculation in Microsoft Word. To do this calculation, you have to go to table layout. And on the right side, we'll see a formula. Now here by default, your sum formula will be selected. You can delete it. So just after equal to, you select the paste function. And from that paste function, you can select the formula that you want to have. So you have a lot of formula and average count and many other things. So in this case, I'm going to need a product formula. So here is my product formula. And I also want to have what kind of product product of quantities that is left right above or below so here in the bracket or in the parenthesis i will type left product of all the quantities that are there on the left side i'll click ok and i'll get this 25 value so this is 5 into 525 if you want to use the same formula you can copy and paste it no worry because the formula is static you need to right click and update this field to get the correct values and once this is done, you will have this all these formulas calculating the product perfectly. And let's say I want to have the total at this place. So again, I'll go to layout tab, click formula. And here I want to have some above. So Microsoft Word is smart enough to understand what kind of formula that I may need. If you want to have some different kind of functions, you can select the function and then choose the appropriate one. But here I want to have sum of all the quantities that is above so i'll click ok and you will see this formula is evaluated 
coming to the sixth problem that is we want to repeat some tasks so microsoft word has a magic shortcut to repeat previous tasks let's see this with an example let's say i want to delete some particular row of this table maybe you have five to six different rows you want to delete so the procedure here is you go to the row right click it click delete cell and then select delete entire row once this is done row will be deleted now let's say i want to repeat this procedure for this row so i need not repeat the previous process i can simply press a magic shortcut that is f4 and it will do the last task and the last task was to delete a row so the moment i press f4 last task will be done coming to the seventh trick it's spike let's see you want to select part of the document and paste it in a new document what we will do is we'll use cut paste cut paste cut paste but instead of that microsoft word offers a special feature called spike where you only cut 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 whatever part of the document that you want to have and then paste all these cutted parts at once it's a spike feature of microsoft word it's available in all the latest versions of Microsoft Word. So let's say you want to cut paste parts of a document into one single document. Let's say this is my first part, second part, and maybe the third part. This part can be from a single document or from a multiple document also. So what you can do is you can select the part one, press Control F3. So what it will do is it will cut and save it into clipboard. Then you can again use the same shortcut, Control F3 to cut the second part and similarly for the third part select it then press ctrl f3 and now let's say you want to paste it in some new document then press ctrl n and now to paste all the parts that we have cut using a spike simply press ctrl shift f3 and you will have all the parts that we have spiked using ctrl f3 now coming to the eight tip let's say you want to bulk convert word to pdf you all know how to save a word document into pdf you go to files click on save as and then select a pdf from the drop down but let's say you want to do this procedure for multiple documents in a folder let's say this is my sample folder where i have three documents to simply convert all the microsoft word document into pdf in this particular folder you need to have these two files and the content of these two file is this first one is a save as pdf dot and the second file is an batch file content of both this file in the description you can go there and copy this file or this code and now once you have these two files you simply need to double click this batch file and it will automatically convert all the word document in this folder into pdf you can see how this is being done document one document two dot pdf and in some time it will be document three dot pdf two that's how it is done so just a single click and all the word document in that particular folder or subfolder will get converted into pdf so that was trick number eight coming to trick number nine is let's say you want to edit any pdf let's say this is my sample pdf document and I want to quickly edit this PDF. So you to edit a PDF, you did not need any special software. To edit any PDF, you go to files, click open, browse that particular PDF. Now, if you are not able to see PDF, you can select all files from this drop down menu, then select the PDF that you want to edit, click open, and Microsoft Word will take a little bit of time to open that PDF, and boom, that PDF got open and now you can edit whatever you want okay you can click on edit anyway you can do whatever edit you want and then you can save it as a word or pdf document as per your need so this was trick number nine coming to the last trick you want to type some math or scientific symbols so the trick here is microsoft word has an inbuilt latex type feature to type these equations or symbols by default it is not activated to activate it you have to do this one time setting Go to Files, Options, Proofing, go to Math Autocorrect tab and check this box against Use Math Autocorrect Tools Outside Math Regions. Click OK. And once this is done, you can simply type this shortcut. It starts with a backslash and then the name of the symbol. For example, here I want to type Alpha. You type Alpha and hit Space and you will get Alpha. Similarly, for therefore, you type backslash therefore and hit space and you get this. Now, if you want to have these equations written quite fast, then you can use a shortcut that is alt equal to to get equation editor and then type A and for subscript, anything that is written after underscore becomes a subscript. 
press space to convert it into subscript equal to let's say r and for superscript you use a caret sign and then similarly anything that is written after caret sign will get converted into a superscript it's space to convert into superscript and this is done and there are a lot of these formulas all of them are covered in my separate dedicated video if you want to learn how to type equations and symbols fast you can watch the video link is there in the top right corner and also in the description now to type integral sign you simply have to press alt equal to to get an equation editor and for integration type i and t for lower limit you type underscore zero and to get pi in superscript you type raise to and to get pi i'll use backslash pi symbol and i'll hit space couple of times and i'll get this integral equation now inside integration i'll type this for pi backslash pi so that's how i type math and scientific symbol and equation really fast in microsoft word like we do in latex please let us know which part or which shortcut of this video you liked or if you have any other shortcut that i have missed please let us know that in the comments if you feel that this video was helpful please let us know in the comments or by pressing the like button and you can also share this video with your other friends and colleagues so that they also get benefited